Hey, Earth Signs. Welcome into the channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. We're going to go ahead and get this thing started off. This is going to be your quickie reading, okay? Quickie weekend reading. All right. I hope you guys survived the new moon in Libra. <laughs> it's still going down. It's not over. <laughs> All right. Here is uh, some Paul Santos to raise the vibration for you guys. All right. We're going to go ahead and start off with the lucky... Taurus. Let's do Taurus. All right. All beings of the greatest, highest white light. You guys will be timestamps below. I beseech you at this time, most high holy angels, holy ancestors. What message do you have for me to give to the Taurians? What message do you have for Taurus? Archangel Michael, thank you for your protection. Archangel Gabriel, thank you for your protection. All right, let's get into it. Taurus, what's the business for the weekend? What's up, Taurus? What you need to see? Ace of Pentacles, Taurus. You got a brand new something, something coming in. A little swoopty doo gonna swoop on in on you, okay? Uh, Peekaboo, I see you, okay? Like something's about to come in and bless you. Be a miracle here. Okay, we got five swords, all right? You could be at this time in your mind, of course, with the new moon energy being in Libra. Even though the moon's moved out now, the energy is still very much present, okay? Um, the shift, right? So you could be in your thoughts. You could be in your mental space. Pretty heavy, okay? I feel like you're not going to see this Ace of Pentacles coming in. All right, for Taurus here, King of Cups. All right, we've got a King of Cups here. You've been loving on yourself. You've been nurturing on yourself. Taurus, you um, have been gaining the enlightenment that you need to continue to go along, you know, about your day, about your journey, about your work life, about your, your love life, about your everything, right? Um, you've been hurt in the past with the Three of Swords, but see this Ace of Pentacles that's coming in, I feel like it's going to push that all out the way. Whatever that Three of Swords was, this Ace of Pentacles, it's going to outshine your past, okay? With the Five Wands on the reverse, your past being conflicted. Five, five, there's definitely change here. Okay? Yeah, there's change. We have the Seven of Cups, okay? You, you, I think you have a lot of options coming in um, that you don't see yet, but you're, you're beginning to see Queen of Swords in the reverse, okay? I'm going to take that as your bottom card, but let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. We got six wands in the reverse, and we have queen of pentacles and ten of pentacles. Yeah, right now you could be feeling undefeated, Taurus. You could be feeling like a little, like almost an overwhelming feeling, okay, in the past, all right? But it's like now you're moving into this energy, queen of pentacles, because here you are. You're, um, you are going from a person who maybe was holding back okay you were holding back in some type of way um Taurus but now it's like you're going to be coming forward you're you're turning over a new leaf you are changing here okay your status is changing for some of you guys you're about to get married okay um for others of you guys you're just about to win on a financial level okay yeah, in your past, it was very toxic. You, you dealt with a lot of um, a lot of secrets, a lot of hidden energy, a lot of control issues, okay? It could have been you with the control issues or just the devil was controlling you. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't, you didn't know what was going on, Taurus. But now, uh, when, when you saw that you hit a place of no movement, okay, um, that you were constantly receiving offers with, that were the same and they, there was no substance to those offers, then you decided to change up your life. And in doing so, now you're going to be able to be be blessed with some options that are going to come in so you definitely got heavy change coming through for you whatever this ace of pentacles energy is okay it's going to outshine your past and what you've been through all right so just hang in there okay you might not be able to see these options right now you could be kind of confused on which road to go or which way to go next but there's an ace of pentacles that's probably um, right right at your doorstep, right in front of your face. You know what I mean? For some of you guys, you got to check in the mail. Or you got, you like some money hit your bank account that you didn't even, you weren't expecting. Okay. That's the universe providing for us, Taurus. 
We put in such hard work. Like, we're very passionate. Five of Wands energy. We go hard or go home, you know? And we do end up hurt, Taurus. We do end up hurt. But at the end of the day, because spirit will use us as catalysts, right? But not only that, we got life lessons to learn. And so as we're learning these lessons, you know, this is just the way of life. But Ace of Pentacles, you're coming out of this energy. You're leading out with the Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups, heavy self-love, heavy control of your emotions, right? And with the Queen of Swords in the reverse and then the Six of Wands in the reverse, it lets me know this is how you're feeling right now. You could be feeling defeated right now, okay? But right, right around the corner is this Queen of Pentacles and this ten of pentacles so it's coming okay it's coming and it's not nothing from your past six of cups in the reverse because your past was the devil <laughs> your past was a secret devil high priestess but they was hidden okay there was an emperor but they were hiding behind a false mask okay um but no, that's not for you, boo. So you do see what's for you. You know what you want and you know where you're going. Okay, so let me finish pulling these. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just talking. These are supposed to be quickies. My bad, Taurus. Hold on. Let me put this gorgeous. Okay, let's try this again. For Taurus spirit, thank you. All right, Taurus. All right, I only got a couple for you, but that must be all you need, baby. Let's check it out. One, it says your help is needed. Okay, so you know you have a, you got you got other stuff going on. You got other stuff to do. Watch your spending. Okay, the battle to liberation is internal first. So that's what I was saying with that King of Cups energy. You, you went within here. You gained the enlightenment that you're needing. Become a limitless being. Okay, so this is where you are. All right, Taurus, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope you got what you needed from me. I hope it gave you a little bit of um, inspiration, okay, or motivation to keep keep trucking, honey. Keep going, all right? Ace of Pentacles is right around the corner. I know it's been hard and you've been through a lot, but just keep persevering. Keep going, okay? All right, bye. Be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe. Bye, you guys. Virgo, come on in, Virgo. Come on in. I hope you guys are having a good day, Virgo. Virgo, this is going to be your quickie weekend reading, okay? for um just the weekend we're just gonna see whatever whatever comes up and out and whatever spirit wants to talk about okay so um looks like you guys have some money coming in king of pentacles energy here virgo okay you have a new passionate beginning ace of wands i'm peeking at just in the pre-shuffle okay uh eight pentacles in the reverse though i feel like this has come easy to you virgo okay you didn't have to put in a lot of work for whatever this is. All beings of the greatest, highest white light. What message do you have for me to get to the Virgo? All right. We got you at Empress Energy, Virgo. Okay. You could um, have some Taurus or Libra in your chart. Okay. We got King of Swords. And you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay. This is beautiful energy. Um, the two of you guys, the Empress here and the Ace of, I mean, the King of Swords. Okay. This is a beautiful connection I'm seeing. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. There's a new doorway of opportunity opening up for you too. Okay. It looks like you guys are going to be taking things to the next level. Uh-oh, but we have some conflict here. Five of Wands. Okay. Um, what's going on with this conflict? This It seems like this Empress is in a bit of discomfort why is this empress in discomfort spirit what is going on here what's the conflict why is the five of wands here okay we got seven of cups in the reverse okay i feel like um this aquarius libra gemini could see things a lot clearly now okay and whatever decision this person has made with this Ace of Pentacles is changing something for the both of you. Okay. Now it's bringing, it's bringing this Empress Five of Wands. Yeah, with the Six of Wands in the reverse, she feels defeated. Or, or yeah, this Empress is feeling defeated. I'm thinking because of this moon energy that has come in, Virgo, that may have you a bit uneasy. It's like you already know this, though, because, like, I'm hearing Pisces with the Seven of Cups card. Virgo, your opposite sign 
is Pisces. So you guys are very intuitive. You guys are feeling something is going on. Maybe you're feeling this shift. You're feeling this shift, Virgo. Whatever this shift is that's about to come in, you're feeling it before it's getting here. Um, your intuitive um, emotions or emojis, I don't know why I'm hearing emojis, but your intuitive, um, your stomach, like you feel it in your core, you feel it in your bones, you feel it in your mind, you feel in sense that there's a, a something going on, that there's conflict. Now, it may not be with any particular person, Virgo, this could just be the energy that you're sensing is about to come in. If it is with the person, it's still the same. I'm, I, I repeat the same sentence. You're feeling something coming in. You're feeling a shift. But the shift is making you feel a little, un, a little not a little defeated, defeated. But why? It's like you're realizing that you need to or you have to let something go. It's like you're surrendering. Now, another situation that I'm picking up, Virgo, is that um, there could be some energy of like, You've given up before the battle. And I hope that's not the case. Like if you've already, you've already counted, you've already almost defeated yourself before you have even went into this new season or this new cycle or this new job or this new relationship or this new way of living or this new whatever this is that you're going into, Ace of Pentacles energy. It's like underneath you kind of feel a little nervous. You see something clearly though, but what you're seeing, you see a snake. There's a snake, Virgo. Y'all see this snake in this card? Damn, you see clearly, but what you clearly see is that there's a snake. Okay, so that's why you're in, okay, okay. All right, well, this makes sense. So you're cutting someone off. You're releasing something or someone that was bringing you conflict because they were a snake. And you're cutting them off. Now, Virgo, this could be uh, a person, a place, or a thing. Whatever that snake is for you, it has you feeling, it has you feeling defeated at this present moment. And so with this... King of Swords energy that you're in, which is very, King of Swords is wise, okay? They learned a lot of lessons. They know what's for them and what serves their highest and greatest good. So with you being in this King of Swords energy at this time, which is basically your moon energy, which is your shadow side, which is your polar opposite, which is Pisces energy, you are listening to your intuition at this time. And your intuition is telling you that there's a snake around you, Virgo. All right, that is your reading. Now, what you do with that information is up to you. But the King of Swords is very wise. The King of Swords will cut that ass off, whatever it is, if it's bringing you any type of, because see, Virgos, they, they value their stability. They value their, uh, they're very attentive to detail, okay, detail oriented, and they pay attention. Virgos pay attention. Now, Virgos got really good hearts. Virgo will give you the shirt off their back, but don't mess over no Virgo. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's what it looks like. Virgo, you done came up on a damn snake. And you see that it's causing you conflict. And I think you about to you about to burn it up. You about to light it up. Or you're about to release it. Or you're going to do something. You're going to king the swords or you're going to cut it off. You're going to speak your truth. That's what you're going to do. You're going to speak. You're going to clear communication. Is what you're asking for. Clear communication. An understanding. Like a clear line in the sand. It's black or it's white. I think you're no longer wanting to be in an in-between phase. Okay. All right. Let's do this. You guys, these are just supposed to be short. You're reading this. Oh, it is. 7.44 on the clock, as I said that. 
744, good number. All right, Virgo. One message, Spirit, for Virgo. Ooh. One message for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? Whoa, shoot, that flew over there. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me get that one. We got a stack right here. Okay, hold on. Oh, we got two. Hold on, what's on the floor? Oh! All right, Virgo. Let's see what you got here, honey. I can't pick up the card. Okay. It says, you are fertile. So, Virgo, you're this empress out here. You're this empress. Must master all four elements, earth, water, fire, and air, okay? So you had to master all of these in order to be able to get in this position. Now, there's an external enemy. Didn't I tell you you see that there's a snake? It says, possibly from group association wearing a, with wearing a false mask near to you. This is somebody close to you, Virgo. Ooh, Speak your truth. Virgo, this is confirmation for everything that I said. This is crazy. Expect a call or text today. Okay? I was saying you're looking for some truth or clarity. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer or someone who has cancer in their chart. Okay, Virgo? Transformation is beautiful. All right? Because whatever you were going through, this is toxic and you are on the wrong path. Okay? Um, go check out the part one of the... It's a Vibe Thing series that I did. Go watch the first video, okay? Um, and prepare now for unexpected expense, all right? Um, you have new love coming, okay? And you're you're regaining your throne here. So return of the king or queen, all right? And they want me to pull a romance angel, which I don't have up here with me. So I'll be right back. I'm going to pause the video and go get it. Hold on, um, Virgo. All right, Virgo, I went and got the Romance Angel deck, so let's take a look and see what spirit has for you there, okay? Virgo, that's a trip that you found a snake. It was like, that's how we found it. As we, were, I just thought about, like, as I'm doing this reading, it started off, okay, boom, you got, mm -hmm, new beginning, uh-huh. And I'm looking at this five of wands, like, something right there. And then it's like, boom, there's the snake. That's a trip. The more I looked at that seven of cups in the reverse, there's a snake there. And you found them, or either you're about to. Yeah, this is crazy. But you're not gonna let this defeat you. That's what you're not gonna do. You can feel defeated right now, but you're, that's just because it hit, like to find out whatever this was or whatever, Virgo. But at the end of the day, you are not gonna let this defeat you. You're gonna have victory over this. Ace of Pentacles, you're gonna have a brand new beginning. All right, for Virgo Spirit, what was the message that you had for Virgo? We got passion, okay? It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I'm going to pull you another here. That might have been the one, Virgo. That might have been it. Let's see. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, you're freeing yourself. And then freeing yourself. Didn't we see new love? We saw transformation. It's beautiful. So you definitely, yep, new love coming. Okay, so you got some new passionate love coming that, that's going to allow you to feel free and childlike. You're going to want to flirt a lot, right? And you guys going to have a really intense connection. I feel like you guys are going to really be into each other equally, like the same type of way. It's going to be mutual. Okay, whatever this next phase is for you, it's going to be mutual. This could be as much as you just needing to speak your truth to declare, a, you know, to make something clear before you, you know, move forward into this next phase with somebody because something or uh, someone or something um, kind of had you feeling uneasy. Okay, but um, you got some, some love coming in. Okay, Virgo. All right, take this as it resonates. You guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Capricorn, welcome into the channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Go ahead and catch some of that Paul Santos right there. All right, Capricorn, this is going to be your quickie weekend reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. And uh, we're just going to tap in real quick and see what messages Spirit has for you. Okay, Capricorn? All right, all beings, the greatest, highest, white light, I beseech you at this time. Most high, holy angels, holy ancestors, what message do you have for me to get to the Capricorn? 
Capricorn, I'm hearing that song. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of heavy. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of heavy. You're feeling unfulfilled at this time. All right, Capricorn. Let's see, something about to change. Oh yeah, it's gonna change quickly. Knight of Swords, fast movement to your wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Capricorn. Okay, you decided you're about to make a change. Okay, Six of Cups in the reverse, okay? Cause you are over uh, feeling unfulfilled. Having your cups filled, feeling empty or feeling lost in some type of way. I'm hearing destitute, okay? You're over it. You're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting the hell out of there or here whatever that is we got seven of swords in the reverse i'm telling the truth okay you ain't no secret ain't no if and or but about it you are getting the hell out of dodge quickly nine of swords you're moving fast now where are you going so that your nine of cups your happy place your happiness will of fortune and the uh fool so you are you are you're you're going up you're going up you're not allowing anything from your past to hold you back here. Okay, you gain yourself some sort of freedom. No longer having to move in secret or move in the shadows or maybe you're just being moved shadows. It's giving me scorpion energy. So maybe you could have just came out of some sort of transformation. Okay, and with the wheel here, you're awakening, you're ascending. And now you're you're like a new fawn, new baby fawn here with the full card. You're ready to take a leap of faith. Okay, you're walking by faith and not by sight at this time. All right. All right, let's see. Let's see what messages come out for you. I think that's pretty clear and dry here. Okay, you're doing, you're, you're on the move. You're out on the move. You could be out and about a lot today, Capricorn. Okay, you could be out searching. Uh, for some of you guys are searching for um, a new place to live. For others of you guys, you're searching for, um, you're searching for some of y'all, y'all choosing. Some of y'all on the dating app swiping left and right, okay? For some of you guys, Capricorn, you are, um, <laughs> that's funny. For some of you guys, you guys are just out in nature, okay? You guys could be getting some exercise, all right? Taking care of your physical body, stimulating your mind. Stimulate, stimulate your mind, Craig. You could be smoking weed, okay? Um, six of Cups in the reverse. You're not, you're not participating in anything from the past, though. I know that. I see that right here. You're not participating. You're not giving it any, any energy, any time, any effort. I'm hearing any patience. You're not, you're not doing it anymore. Okay. All right. Let's see what that is that came out for you, Capricorn. Your butt is on the move, though. I'm hearing that song. I'm on the move. I don't know how it goes, but anyway, I'm on the move. So we got trust. Okay. There's a plot twist here. There's a plot twist, Capricorn. Okay, you must master self. Hmm. So I was saying you went through a, a transformation and an awakening here. But there's some sort of um, happiness that's coming in for you. And whatever choice you made in releasing this, whatever this was from the past, Six of Cups, it wasn't bringing you fulfillment, right? And the effort that you made in le leaping away from that you mastered the self here, okay? And you could be um, saying we're just friends here, okay? Just friends to a Sagittarius, okay? Yeah. All right, this has been your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye.